Morning, the Mielin thanks for joining the broadcast of Monday, 13th of December 2021. Let's face the top stories. Marriage is a critical institution for societal development, Rep. Idem. Kinafon chairman announces second phase of roads grading and maintenance. Karabasi Federal Constituency agrees on National Assembly seats. NNPC records 141.96 billion Naira trading surplus. The name is Joshua Akban. The news and details. The Deputy Chairman Communications Committee in the House of Representatives and member for Kanafon, Arugan Federal Constituency, Unima Idem, is urge couples to build their marriage foundation in God so that they help in contributing to national stability and development. Idem spoke at the Holy Ghost Ambassador Ministry during the 16th marriage anniversary Thanksgiving of the senior pastor, Apostle Nyanimi Andi. The Lord Maker describes marriage as one of the critical institutions that helps in national building. He pointed out that a good marriage produces a good parenting which gives rise to good children that will eventually help in producing a good society. He attributed anti-social vices that is confronting Nigeria's society to lack of effective parenting and therefore enjoined couples to build their unions on godly foundation. It am thank God for the 16 years of unbroken marriage commitment, dedication and unbroken love witnessed by Apostle Andy and wife and prayed God for to continue to make the union to work stronger. He described Apostle Andy as a man of God that possesses eight areas of callings that is according recorded in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 28, adding that Apostle Andy is also a prophet, teacher, whom God uses to perform miracles with the gift of healings among the others. The executive chairman of Knafo look the government area, Honorable Pastor Godwin Ian, brings a smile and excitement to the good people of his local government when he announced the readiness of his administration to commence the second phase of rural urban road grading and maintenance. The journalist and political politician made this known Sunday 12 December in Kwaibu Church, Okoyo, during the church Thanksgiving and fundraising service held by the church. You will recall that on his assumption of office, this time last year, he quickly impacted in rural urban road maintenance and grading to create and improve accessibility towards the economic recovery of the either to crisis ridden local government. Pastor Inyan, an ordained crazy himself, made a handsome donation towards the fundraising ceremony along with all the attendees of the occasion for the ongoing church auditorium project in Okoyo. The chairman equally advised the youth to shun every form of occultism, violence, and other social vices as this, his administration will not entertain deviant behaviors. The leadership of a great party, the People's Democratic Party PDP, in chapter under the airbull chairmanship of Right Honorable Nancy Sunday, has been inundated with phone calls, text messages, position papers from a cross-section of political stakeholders of Mkwarini in extraction on the communique allegedly issued by some persons under the edges of Ikarabasi Federal Constituency Youth Forum and with the above caption recently. In order to avoid confusion that may arise from such purported zoning, the PDP in Mkwarini being the authentic conveyor of matters of zoning as a party's internal mechanism for power sharing and rotation wishes to call for come as the party will. After all a due consultation with relevant stakeholders within and outside the local government area, issued an appropriate statement on the zoning of National Assembly seats as the third effect in Karabasi in Parini is then a bold federal constituency at the appropriate time. However, it goes without saying, naturally, that in the rotation parties of National Assembly seat, party interests will be adequately protected. Meanwhile, the purported information statement on zoning of National Assembly seats in Ikarabasi and Parinin, Eastern Bolo Federal Constituency is not the position of our great party and should be disregarded accordingly. Finally, we wish to call on all members of our great party to avail themselves with 
for the ongoing capturing and e-registration revalidation exercise in the various words. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, has announced a huge leap in trading surplus of 141.96 billion naira recorded in June 2021 compared to a deficit of 37.46 billion naira in May 2021. This is in turn in the June 2021 figures of the NNPC Monthly Financial and Operations Report, M4, a trading surplus of or a trading deficit is derived from after deduction of the expenditure profile from relevant from the revenue back a pardon for the period under review in june 2021 npc group operating revenue as compared to may 2021 decreased by 9.7 percent or 89.27 billion naira to stand at 894.64 billion naira similar expenditure for the month decreased by 29.32 percent or 299.44 billion naira to stand at 721.93 billion thus in the period on the review expenditure as a proportion of uh, revenue was 0.81% compared to the figure in May which stood at 1.4%. The report also noted that the increase in trading surplus was due mainly to the increased sales of crude oil and gas by the Nigeria Petroleum Development Company, an upstream subsidiary of the NNPC, and the increased gas sales and depreciation, depreciation posting by the Nigeria Gas Company, NGC. The position outlook was further bolstered by the performance of Duke Oil and the Nigeria Gas Marketing Company, NGMC, which also added to the improved bottom line. According to the report, to ensure continuous supply and effective distribution of premium modes of spirits across the country, a total of 1.63 billion liters of PMS translating to 54.5 zero mn liters per day were supplied in june 2021 the report indicated that in june 2021 47 pipeline points were vandalized representing 26.56 percent decrease from the 64 points recorded in may 2021 but how could accounted for 43%, while Mosimi and Kedunan areas accounted for 51% and 6% respectively of the vandalized point. Recall with audio and recent broadcast that in order to ensure speedy completion of work on Idonga Sinkanga Avenue, Ring Road 3, His Excellency of Don Udomi Manuel has authorized the closure of the Idonga Sinkanga Avenue by run road roundabout axis of the project. The closure, which will last for 14 days, effective Saturday 10 to December 2021, is to the fourth that the contractors handling the project ample time devoid of human and vehicle obstruction to perfect the roundabout and its concomitant needed for excellent delivery of the project. Motorists and other road users are hereby implored to watch out for and be guided by road signs erected by the contractors indicating alternative routes for ease of their movement around the area. And that's the news of the before round of that first stop stories who met the headlines. Marriage is a critical situation for societal development, rep idem. Knafon chairman announced his second phase of roads grading and maintenance. Ikarabasi Federal Constituency agrees a National Assembly seats. NNPC road records 141.96 billion naira trading surplus. For more updates, please visit our website at www.ibomvoice.business.blog. A YouTube channel uh, at Ibom Voice uh, TV and a Facebook page uh, at Ibom Voice uh, Media. The name again remains Joshua Rapan and Emilia. Thanks for joining us at the broadcast of 7, same time tomorrow.